Hi, it's Jay at Express Screen. I'm going to be going over some uh, frame tightening and stretching. It's going to be a little more advanced than just doing uh, a lot of the single color stuff. Um, this is using also the larger frames as well. These are the 22 and a half, the 575 millimeter by 31 and a half Reso quick frames. Um, I've got 120 mesh. I will explain as I go along. Uh, the 200 mesh as well because uh, I'll tighten those just a little bit differently. The 200 mesh is uh, a little bit more durable. But uh, starting, and I'm using our, our half roll, 22 inch roll here. Always, uh, I'm right handed, so I start on one side. And what I do is, and I'll, so you can see it in the middle, I try to set the video up so you can see it. You'll notice the mesh is just a little bit, not quite as wide as the outside edge of the frame. And so you want to make sure that all your tracks are loosened up completely and push towards the center. Okay. And there's a couple important reasons for that. One is if you have a little bit of a cant on it, when you go to tighten, then it's not going to tighten in a perpendicular manner at that point. So you have to make sure that all these are loosened up and pushed in. And I'm going to take the mesh, you might not be able to see the outside there, and I'm going to visually line it up centered. So I'm going to take my short side and I'm going to lock it into place. Then I'm going to drag it down. And I am going to put some tension on it. And what ten the tension I put on it is going to do two things for me. One, if I put tension on it and I have put it in incorrectly or slanted, that's going to show up when I get to the other end because I'm going to be off one way or I'm going to be off the other way. And here I am just, I wasn't perfectly square. That's okay. I'll square this end up and then go back and square up that end. So I've got this one lined up, centered, squared. There's a fresh frame here. And I'll go ahead and cut it. Now, again, this is my method for putting uh, screens in. Uh, Junior has a bit of a different method that I'll show later. So I'm going to come back to this end, loosen it up, and square it out. All right, so what I'm going to do is tighten my centers up first. And you'll notice when you pull them out that the uh, channel comes away from the inside of the frame. You're looking about a quarter inch gap. Go around and do all the, do the short end centers first. And then do the long end center. And you're going to go about, about a quarter of an inch on the sides here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to patch up the uh, corners of it. Um, but you don't want to completely catch them up. You want to kind of make a bow in it. Okay, that's exaggerated a little bit. You want the centers to be about a millimeter or two further out than the corners. And that'll keep them busting the corners while you're stretching your screen. Okay, so now I'm going to catch the sides up, the corners on the sides, really. Then we'll go back to the ends, centers again. Catch the, and now I can catch the corners up as I go along. And now is when I'm going to start 
using my Newton meter to check out where I'm at. all the way around on it. So I'll catch up a little bit more here. Remember, it doesn't take very many screw turns to get a lot more tension. Again, I'm keeping that arc going right here. Quick little bump on this end. Not much here I need to get. side. We got 15 both ways there. And now, so that was the first round of stretching. Uh, right now, I mean, if you're doing single color, it's good to go. Uh, if you need tight registration, you're going to be concerned about that the mesh will relax like any mesh you want tension. So what you can do to cheat, you can set it to the side for a long period of time. You can put your hands in the center of it and push all the way down to the table. Hold that for about 20 or 30 seconds. And what we're doing is we're uh, speeding up the process of fatiguing the mesh. Uh, at this point. So I just had it at 15 newtons and a few more seconds here. Now I'll put the newton meter on it and it has dropped to 13 in both directions. So I'm going to repeat my process. Centers. Centers on the side. Now, this is normally going to not relax much. Um, for most applications, uh, if you've got a three quarters of a point of trap, this will be good enough for you. Um, if you still need butt registration, you can fatigue it one more time and then tighten it up the same way. And the drop off at 15 newtons will be less than a quarter of a newton. Uh, general All right, quick, uh, quick rehash. Make sure all your channels are unscrewed and all the way to the center of the frame. Put your mesh on, uh, lock it into place. Make sure it is squared, if not readjust it. Make sure you have enough room to get the side bars on, uh, side D bars. Start in the centers and tighten. 
all the way around, then catch the corners up, and then after that, a second retightening, you can do centers followed by, side, by corners. Um, keep working your way up. Don't try and grab all 15 Newtons at once. If you need to speed the process up of, uh, of uh, fatiguing the mesh, put your hands down the center of the screen, push down for 15, 30 seconds, and then retighten as you need. And again, after about the third retighten, your drop-off is very minimal at that point.